welcome to Garden Shells. Welcome back. Tonight we'll be reloading our claws and dishing out some more bloody justice with another wolf cop. Lugaru is back, and so are the shape-shifting aliens, and this time, they mean business. Their new scheme is advertising a mysterious new drink called chicken milk, that's meant to help them take over the world. Okay, I guess I can get behind that. Woodhaven is in trouble, and the wolf cop is needed. This is the gift that keeps on giving. It manages to carry over the charm from the first one, and it pushes the limits further but in all the best ways. It doesn't take itself seriously, and even when the movie calls for action or serious moments, the actors do a great job at balancing the drama while having fun with their roles. Leo Fafard continues to shine as the wolf cop by balancing the line between beast and human. Where's your car? <laughs> Amy Matasio plays the part of Chief Tina with intensity and badassery but never taking the situation too seriously. Perk's already back! Damn it, Daisy, that is evidence! Jonathan Cherry continues to be funny and likable as Lou's best bud, Willie. Okay, so this is happening right now? Hey, you know, I gotta go. Meanwhile, Yannick Bison plays the role of the corporate douchebag Swallows, with class and all the traits of corporate villainy. You're a loser. It's just a fact. We even have Kevin Smith in here as Mayor Bubba of Woodhaven. You know he's having a ball every time he's up on screen. That's my way of saying hi. What do you think? It's a slogan, man, for the beer. Try it. If you enjoyed the first Wolf Cop, hands down you will enjoy this one. More violence, more destruction, more action, more ridiculousness, and more werewolf sex. As they say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Lou, you're a wolf cop. And that concludes Wolf Cop. And it delivers. You're given exactly what you hope for. Carnage and mayhem, bullets galore, and a kick-ass protagonist. What more could you ask for? Join us next time as we take a look at another popular vampire franchise. But this one, is pretty intense, and it's cold to the bone.